Hello friends and welcome to another Shambles How To. This holiday season we'll be looking at the Microsoft Geesbox. The Microsoft Geesbox was Microsoft's first entry into the world of gaming. Originally designed as a nuclear fallout shelter and then later retrofitted to include not one, not two, not three, but four former escape bays turned controller ports. The fallout shelter would have housed many a civilian due to its large size covering two to three hectares. Notice how the power and eject buttons are almost impenetrable and guarded by these viewing bays. All around the console we can see this patented military grade deflection armour capable of deflecting RPGs, breaching charges and common or household grenades. On the rear a simple setup as you'd expect such efficiency from the US military. We have the power slot. This would be electrified and guarded by watchdogs. Over here we can see the unique audio visual slot. This ensured that no mimic cables could be inserted, only official Microsoft Xbox. And on the right we can see the garbage compactor or trash chute. On the rear or anus of the console we can see one, two, three, four shock absorbing roll pads ensuring that even if this box was tossed to sea it would stay upright. The controller itself was a modified Sherman tank. We can see the indented and curved control sticks, the 45 degree angle d-pad, the oblong buttons, all confusing any attackers. Notice how the controller would take not one but two fully grown men to control all of the buttons. Of course these were deemed far too large and eventually Microsoft, after retrofitting the console to play games, released this much smaller esque unit. Notice how the thumb pad risers are relocated, the d-pad restraightened and the buttons circulated. Of course both units still incorporated the twin jet engines and in keeping with their military past included the missile lock and machine gun fire. Wireless technology was also available on this beast of a unit utilizing this subtle adapter. There were third party peripherals that allowed you to connect to your console wirelessly. Notice how the translucent effect allows the controller to blend in. So there we have it fans. The Microsoft Gizbox. I hope you have found this guide useful. If not, you definitely haven't. And remember fans, gaming. Till next time, farewell.